is the world's most widely consumed alcoholic beverage. But how do four simple ingredients transform into one of the world's favorite beverages? Brewing is both an art and a science. Once you know the science behind beer, then you can appreciate the art that went into it. Beer is made from four basic ingredients, water, barley, hops, and yeast. The basic idea is to extract the sugars from the grain so that the yeast can eat them up and then spit out alcohol and CO2, thus making beer. Sounds simple, right? And the basic idea of beer making is, it's almost like making soup. Let me explain in a little more detail. First, you have to start with good water. No problem for us here in Michigan. We have the best water in the world. And that's probably why our beers are so good. Next, you need grain. The majority of beers are brewed with barley, and some beers are brewed with other grains, like wheat or rye. The barley undergoes the process known as malting, where after harvesting and allowing the grain to germinate, the barley is heated, dried, and cracked. This makes the starches in the barley ready to convert into sugars. Now the barley gets ground up and then goes for a bath in the mash tun. This mashing in causes those starches to break down into sugars, which is the first step in fermentation. Once the mash in is done, the liquid is drained off the grain. Sometimes the brewer might rinse the grain again to extract even more sugars in a process known as sparging. The liquid is now known as wort, W-O-R-T. This hot, sweet liquid is basically unmade beer, just like dough is unmade bread. The wort now needs to be flavored, and the flavoring usually used is that magical green cone-shaped fruit known as hops. Hops provide the bitterness to balance out all of the sugars in the wort. Some beers will have a lot of hops in them, and therefore taste kind of bitter, like an India Pale Ale. Other beers, like a porter, don't have as many in them and taste sweeter. Hops are also a natural preservative, and that is what they were first used for in beer. Now the wort is cooled, strained, and sometimes filtered. It moves to the fermenter, where the yeast is added or pitched in. The yeast converts all those sugars from the malt into alcohol and carbon dioxide. There are a lot of different styles and types of yeast, and which one you choose will help decide the style of beer you brew. An ale yeast ferments at a higher temp and settles on the top of the wort. A lager yeast will settle to the bottom and the brewer will cool the beer and allow fermentation to occur at around 50 degrees. Spontaneous fermentation is popular in Belgium, where they just let the wild yeast do their thing and give Belgian beers their distinct taste. When fermentation is complete, the beer is cooled and the yeast allowed to settle. The wort is now alcoholic beer and ready to be packaged. The beer can either be artificially carbonated, just like soda pop, or it can be allowed to bottle condition, which is a natural carbonation via the CO2 produced from the yeast. It can even be stored in casks to age. After allowing the beer to age anywhere from a few weeks to several years, it's ready to drink. Finally, I was getting thirsty.